Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps! Good morning everybody, how is all going? I'm going to do... We're going to have another look at the different types of toilets, camping toilets my wife and I used um, there are we, we have used four I've still got three um, one of them broke uh, and that went out in the trash okay so um, we're gonna have a frank look and a frank discussion about these toilets and then we're going to have a look um, about the waste management of the toilets and the chemicals we used in these two uh, portable tank units here. First of all we had another little toilet that was just a little seat on a fold out chair and a plastic bag and it had a couple of little plastic clips um, that just fell apart when you sat on it basically all right uh, so that was a fail straight away the bush dummy okay we found it strong easy to use smelly and a big problem to get rid of the waste now how these work is they've got a real thick heavy plastic bag that sits around inside them and uh, when you shut it the grooves hold the plastic bag in okay so when you do your business it goes into a plastic bag with the toilet paper and all that sort of stuff it's a really thick plastic bag uh, which um, seemed good at the time but when you look at plastic in the ground that sort of plastic bag just would not uh, ever perish once it was in the in the rubbish tip and I didn't really feel about because once they you know you've used it a few times you've got all these bags of human waste all tied up in plastic bags that you need to get rid of and they say just throw them in any rubbish bin we're talking human waste here I was not and neither was my wife really uh, happy about throwing human waste into a standard rubbish bin all right anyway um, that aside you ended up with all these bags of poop and wee and everything and after an eight day trip you'd probably have eight or nine of these bags and you know it was it was really it was disgusting and it was a pain okay the idea behind the bush dunny is great uh, some people say well just dig a hole under them but then you've still got the problem you have to dig a deep hole to handle the amount of waste and deep enough so the animals don't dig it up and spread toilet paper everywhere which is a big problem in the Australian bush so I'm putting this down as a fail, okay, and the other one before that, the one that was just like a little fold-out chair, I'm putting that down as a fail. Okay, the eBay unit, the Whisthorn, I've done a review on it, and you know I put it down as a fail, um, simply because of the shape of the bowl, the depth of the bowl the shape of the seat um, and also the flashing mechanism in it is not very good um, and also uh, you can see the black uh, ring in there once you had your poop uh, it stuck to that black ring and everywhere and it was just an absolute pain to use and clean and maintain now we use shifting to the Setford porta potty. You can see my progression here, okay? Um, the Setford porta potty 
does cost more it's worth every bloody penny all right every penny now uh the last trip lasted about eight days when we took the west horn with us that was an eight day trip as well uh the one before that was a seven day trip with the bush dunny so um, and these are trips out into the aussie bush you know now with the the uh Thetford, i mean we just this is just so easy to use and when you pump the water it's just so easy to pump and as you can see it gets a pretty good coverage all right it misses a little bit here but that's nothing that you can't clean up okay um we were extremely 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 happy both my wife and i with that toilet now a lot of you as i say well, just go squat in the bush. Well, that's fine. You gotta dig your holes deep enough so you can, animals won't dig up your, your waste and um, spread toilet paper everywhere, which is a really big problem in the bush. There's toilet paper all over the place until you actually have to be able to squat. Now, you know, um, we're getting old, okay? We're 60 plus. I won't say how old my wife is because, you know, I'll get a slap. But we're getting old. Too old to go squatting in the bush, for one. And with my back being broken in two places and all fused now, um, it's just impossible. So I really find I needed a portable toilet. And after the progression of toilets i wouldn't buy anything other than this uh curve porta potty okay setford porta potty excellence uh or it's current commonly known as the curve the setford curve okay it's got your your water level it's got your poop level indicator um just totally brilliant all right now let's move on to chemicals I'll just uh, put this, I'll just stop this and then I'll come back with chemicals. Okay, now, um, when we first started using these uh, toilets with their own tank, and in a lot of places in Australia you have to have a toilet with its own tank. A bush dunny plastic bags just will not do. The um, conservation regulations don't allow for it. And also the chemicals you use does matter as well. Okay, now in the uh, Wesson toilet, um, I did explain about how it stunk continuously. We use these Wallex Biopack natural enzyme deodorizer, blah 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 blah. Okay, um, they work, they dissolve the toilet paper. Um, they didn't fully dissolve the solids. Now bear in mind these vehicle, these toilets were in the back of my ute when we were driving during the day, so they were getting really well shaken up, so um, the chemicals should have really worked well. Now my wife went and emptied that. Um, how did you find when you emptied it? It was lumpy and it stank. Really stank? It really stank. Because I, I could smell it as well. Um, and it, it did stink, okay, it really stank. And it stank when you used it, okay. So why the Wallex um, seems to be a good product, uh, we weren't really that happy with it. Now when we bought the Porter Potty, the uh, Thetford Porter Potty, it came with two little bottles, it came with a Aquacam Rinse Plus, which you put in your top tank, 300 mil. It's very important to read the directions when you add these chemicals, by the way. Um, and that goes in the top tank. You can see we bought more. And it also came with a little bottle of Aquacam Green. Okay. Now, all these chemicals are septic tank safe. All right. So we put a little bottle of aquacam green into the bottom tank 
and we put 300 mil, which is not much, about half of this bottle, of um, aqua rinse into the top tank. Um, again, my wife emptied the toilet and, and actually used it a lot more than I did. So what was your overall opinion while you were using the toilet, the smell, and how was it when you emptied it? It was very liquid. There weren't any lumps. All the toilet paper was dissolved and it did not smell bad. It smelled after the chemical. It still did stink a little bit, but nowhere yeah, near but as much as the, as the, um, as the uh, just using the Wallex biopacks. Yeah. And when you used it, was there... There was no smell, so the seal seems to be a lot better than at the Weiss one. Weiss one, yeah. So that's our opinion, and, and that's my wife's opinion, um, because it's very important. I mean, to me, a toilet's a toilet, and you do your business in them, and, you know, and, and then my wife empties it. Um, when we get back from camp, I, a lot of you are saying, well, you shouldn't let her do that. But the thing is, she can lift stuff, I can't. Um, so both of these had eight days use. Um, if you're going to use chemicals, oh, um, it doesn't matter what brand of, of, of tank toilet, portable toilet you have, whether it's a cheap eBay one or a... a, 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 a more expensive Setford toilet, and they do have different budgets for toilets. Um, this one's not the top of their range. The top of the range has got electric. I don't even think they you can get this one anymore in Australia, this uh, push-down one. But it's really important to use the right chemicals. And because a lot of small country towns and you may even have to, to dump it in the bush if you're out there long enough, dig a big deep hole and tip it in the bush. If you use ones that are septic tank safe, okay, that's all natural enzymes and stuff like that, that's the way to go, okay? Even in the bio packs. Now, um, um, Setford do make um, a satchel pack, and I actually went to town the other day with the missus and we bought these two. And we were looking all over the place for the um, satchel pack, but we couldn't find it. Um, so hopefully we've got one coming because I really want to test how their um, bio, how their their satchels go uh, on our next trip. But I can tell you right now, um, as far as uh, smells uh, and stuff like that to go, any tankless toilet with the uh, Aquacam green and the Aquacam rinse in the tank. Um, the Aquacam rin rinse is just great. It just, oh, yeah, I mean, it smells nice. It's lovely. So that's my honest review. I did it on four toilets, even though I've only got three left um, out of the four we've bought to use in the bush. Um, I don't recommend the plastic bag units at all, okay? It just creates a big waste management problem at the end of your trip. And uh, human waste is not really meant to be dumped into any rubbish bin. Um, and because of the thickness of the plastic bags, it's not really environmentally friendly. Crapping in the bush is environmentally friendly. However, what you do with your toilet paper um, and what I've seen, people don't even bother about digging a hole to, to, to poop in it anymore. Uh, that's a big problem. It's a huge problem. A lot of camping areas are being closed down and you just go walking in the bush and it's full of toilet paper. Um, in one camp spot, we even came across a plastic bag full of poop, which was just totally disgusting. Um, the cheap Ebro toilet smelt all the time. Um, that was mainly probably due to seals, although, it, I mean, this toilet was brand new, okay? It, it did an eight day trip and we said, no, never again. The Setford Porter Potty, uh, both my wife and I wholly recommend them. 
They're, they're a lovely toilet to use, lovely toilet to sit on. And if used with the uh, right chemicals, um, they don't smell. Probably if you use these chemicals in this toilet, you would end up with a better result as well. Okay. So anyway, that's it. That's my roundup and recommendations from both me and my wife. Okay. And that's an honest, um, unbiased review. I mean, we've tested four different toilets in the bush. And, uh, yeah, we just love the, the Thetford um, Porter Potty excellence or the curve if you're in America. Totally brilliant. And I, saw, and I really recommend their chemicals. Um, and I'm hoping to have some uh, little satchel packs uh, to test on our next trip and I'll give you some feedback and review on that. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, you got to hear my wife talk and uh, she doesn't talk as much as I do. And you're saying thank God for that Chris because you rattle on a bit mate. Will I do? Um, and that can't be helped but anyway that's it. I hope you enjoyed the uh, honest review of the toilets and the chemicals and uh try it for yourself people you know don't don't take my word don't take my wife's word try the different chemicals for yourself keep safe bye for now mm -hmm.